Greetings and welcome to Flavorful Eats. I am your host, Hamsha Naidu. Today I am, I have no guest, just by myself, making jackfruit curry. A green jackfruit was cut up and I uh, steamed it with some turmeric and I have it ready to be cooked. But we have an easier method these days, we can find it in a can. To that, I'm going to be first ha adding some onion, uh, some tomatoes, some curry leaves, a ginger garlic. I have two, two pieces of garlic and a very small piece of ginger ground together. And I have a little mix of some, um, some, uh, some fennel seeds, some cumin seeds. I made a little spice of my own. I'm going to use some chili powder and some salt. With that, I get started. I have a little bit of oil added into my pot. To that, I am adding a chopped onion. Fry the onion first. This is a delicious um, vegetable to have. I, not very many people know how to cook uh, jackfruit, so I thought it's a good idea for me to just cook the jackfruit. And with this jackfruit today, so it's, uh, we're going to be serving it with um, uh, almond, uh, a, a grain-free tortilla, an almond flour one. You have different, uh, different varieties. You have cassava, you have all different kind of, these people have different types of grain free um, tortillas and it actually goes very well Other, or else I would normally make roti to serve with that and some people like having it with rice. So um, this is what I'm going to be serving my jackfruit curry with today. The, and the onion is frying, while the onion is frying I'm going to put a little bit of curry leaves in the pot. You know curry leaves are always optional, if you don't have it don't worry about it, it's not going to change the flavor so much. Um, a recipe is just a guide, always remember that. So I put a little more oil than I would normally do because that's what they say you do but you know what if you are oil free or salt free you need not put any oil you just uh, use a little bit of water to fry your onion and you will be in good shape. That's the way to do it today, just try to stay away from oil of any sort. I did use avocado oil, by the way. So I'm adding now the ground ginger and garlic to this. Leave that to saute for a couple of seconds. And then to that, I'm adding my spice, which I had roasted and ground and put it in there. Like a teaspoon of that. And I'm making this mild today only because my guests are having it very mild. So I'm just using like half a spoon there. And to that, I'm adding some tomato. So I'm going to be cooking that, leaving that to cook for a little bit. You could add the tomato later too. It doesn't really matter when you add the tomato. But um, I just added it now. So we leave that to cook for a few seconds and we'll be right back. Okay, our tomatoes and onions are now nice and cooked up. I'm going to be adding the jackfruit. Now, when you're adding a canned jackfruit, it's about the same process. It's already ready for cooking, so you don't need to do anything else. In this case, I've got the fresh one, which I cut up and I boiled, and it's also just, it won't take long to cook now. So I'm putting it there, adding it to that. I know not many people eat jackfruit, so, I mean, not many people even know that green jackfruit can be cooked. This is what it looks like. This is... The, the, this is a little bit more than green, it's not, it normally doesn't look this yellow, but I also added some turmeric, so that would add. So yes, this is what um, raw jackfruit looks like. And then, uh, yes, I'm going to mix this, and to this I'm going to add a little bit of water and leave it to cook. And I'm going to be adding salt as well, just a little bit of salt. And it's that simple to cook a uh, jackfruit curry. And at the end, you can um, also add some coconut, which I did not bring today, but you're welcome to do that too. So I'm going to be adding like um, a quarter cup of water to let it simmer. This may be equivalent to two um, cans of jackfruit, but you can do the same thing for one can of jackfruit. All right, if you have a look at this, this is what this, um, this is what the, the end product of the jackfruit is. And I would normally add some cilantro to finish it off. 
Uh, I know somebody in the uh, studio here is allergic to cilantro. They get the soapy taste instead of regular. So I did not carry the cilantro for that reason. But I would ha happily serve that in a little, um, on a little plate and a little bit of To make this totally gluten-free, we have this grain-free tortilla. You heat it up and serve. There we go. That is our jackfruit curry. Hope you would try this at home. Like I said, you could use green canned jackfruit. In this case, it was a fresh one. And um, simple steps to it. I hope you will try. Enjoy. Thank you for joining me on Flavorful Eats. Always available on actontv.org on our YouTube channel. Till we meet again, I am Hamshanaidi, your host. Take care. Bye.